If you expect a transaction to be exempt, but we still add a tax, you need to find out why. Under Additional Info, we tell you if we applied an exemption to the transaction. To figure out why we didn't apply an exemption, start by finding the customer in your Avalara account. Copy the customer code from the transaction. Then, go to Customers and search for the customer code. If you can't find the customer, watch our troubleshooting video on linking to exempt customers. In this example, the customer code from the transaction matches a customer in your Avalara account. This means the transaction is linked to the correct customer, so the next step is to review their exemption certificates. Follow the customer link. For us to exempt tax from a transaction, the certificate must be valid and for the region where the transaction occurred. Additionally, the transaction must have occurred between the certificate's effective and expiration dates. If you don't have a valid exemption certificate for the region where the transaction occurred, you can create a new one or request one from your customer. In this example, you sold to a customer in North Carolina. There is a valid certificate for North Carolina, but it's also marked for use on a single transaction. Let's see if this is what's causing the problem. Open the certificate to review and make updates. We use the exemption information to determine when to apply the exemption to a transaction. In this example, the exemption will only be applied to the transaction with this invoice number. The transaction from earlier has a different invoice number, so this is why the exemption wasn't applied to that transaction. Before making any updates, review the actual exemption certificate. In this example, the exemption is not marked for use on a single transaction. Update the exemption information so that it matches the certificate. Remember to save your changes. Go back to the transaction. The exemption still isn't being applied to the transaction. That's because, for any changes to take effect, you need to recalculate tax on the transaction. In this example, it solved the problem. Before you leave the page, you need to save. After saving, the exemption appears under Additional Info. To see more, open a line item. Here's a link to the exemption certificate that was just updated and is now being applied to this transaction. If you have multiple sales to the same customer, you have to recalculate the tax on each transaction. Go to Transactions and filter by customer code. Select all of the transactions and choose Recalculate. The tax amounts dropped to zero, meaning we applied the exemption to each of this customer's transactions. Let's review. You identified the problem. You reviewed the exemption certificate info. You updated the exemption certificate. And then you recalculated tax on all of your sales to that customer. Remember, when you recalculate taxes in your Avalara account, the updated tax amounts do not automatically flow back to your business application. Instead, you need to manually make the updates so that the tax amounts match. This important step makes it easier to reconcile your sales information each month.